Hey guys, it's Amanda and long time no talk, but I am back with a new video. So, um, for this video, I just wanted to do an update or wait, no, not an update. I do want to do an update, but not, okay. So for this video, I just want to do a little reflection about my first year at NYU. Um, I just completed my freshman year, like, but. So I wanted to do a reflection about my first year at NYU. Um, I really like watching these videos from other people who make YouTube videos who are also in college. So I thought I would make one and kind of just tell you guys my experience. But also I want to do a little bit of an update about where I've been. So basically for the past month, I feel like I've been very busy because just with the finals, I've had tests to study for essays to write, videos, projects to make. So yeah, and I've had a lot of interviews too at some point in like the last month and um, I started my like summer job. I traveled, I traveled to Jamaica and I traveled to the Midwest like within a week. So that was pretty cool. I have done more traveling in like the past like two months than I have like probably ever in my life which is really cool and fun and I love it and I want to do more traveling but anyway that's not what this video is about I just wanted to give you guys like a little update about where I have been um I have some vlog clips from like the past few weeks that I just have not gotten a chance to edit and I just might put them all into one video maybe I don't know if it looks cool if you guys are interested in seeing that let me know but I don't want to like drag out this intro too long and I kind of just want to get into the meat or the tea of this video, my first year at NYU. But before we do that, I actually do kind of want to make a cup of tea. I don't know, it's just something so intimate about sharing like a hot beverage over talking to a camera. So I'm gonna make tea right now. Be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back with tea and my signature mug that I always use when I drink tea. This is also the only mug I own, so there's that. <laughs> um, yeah, so back into the actual video. What was it? Reflection on my first year of college. So I'm just gonna start from the beginning because that's what makes the most sense to me. Basically, ever since, I know this sounds like really like dumb, <laughs> but ever since I watched Gossip Girl in sixth grade, I had this like infatuation with New York City and I knew I really 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 wanted to go to college in New York City so basically that is one of the primary reasons in choosing my college was location I just knew I wanted to be in New York City so NYU was definitely the perfect choice for me I will say at first I was a little bit like mm, like going to a school with no campus um, you know didn't get into yeah at first i was a little bit i will say at first i was a little bit hesitant about like oh what's it going to be like going to a school with like no campus well guess what guys the city is our campus the world is our campus our place in the world is everywhere violet pride okay no i'm just kidding but basically yeah so if you don't know nyu is a little bit different than most schools it doesn't have like a traditional like this is the campus like this is the quad thing Basically any NYU building like literal building that is like campus the rest of it is Surrounded by a lot of NYU students, but it's just not officially the campus anyone can be there Which is cool, which is fine. You kind of have to dodge strollers and dogs and construction workers on the way to class But like it's okay, you know, it's lively. We love it. So um, And also Washington Square Park is like kind of like our unofficial quad but yeah I always wanted to go to college in New York City and I ended up coming to NYU and I was just super excited to come here. <sighs> but during the first week, the first week was honestly probably the worst week of my life here. Like I'm not even gonna lie. Like I had a moment one time during the first week where I, like it literally makes me sad to think about it. Like it was so sad. Like I was just like in my bed and I was just like writing in my notes and like Wow, I feel so alone. And Walk out the door, you see someone that you know, and they ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. During the first week was Welcome Week, which is a really fun and awesome week because they have hundreds of events, really cool, fun events for the first coming 
for the incoming students. The problem with my experience with Welcome Week was that I did not have friends and I felt like everyone else around me had friends and they had a friend group and they were thriving and loving life and laughing at all these events and I was just there like by myself just like <laughs> loneliness is so much more exacerbated when you're surrounded by a lot of people who look like they are having a great time and who are look like they have they're having a great time with each other so there was just like so many moments where I was just like like that like that sheer loneliness just like hit me it hit me hard so who welcome week felt like the longest week of my life and i was just yeah that was just not the best but don't worry it only got better from there so basically like in the first month or two i you know i met darren who turned out to be like really one of my closest friends here and who I'm so so thankful we met and a lot of people I met just from my residence hall which is Ruben like I really love Ruben because that is how I met that's how I became friends with like so many people who I'm friends with or who I was friends with or even acquaintances with when I first met and like friendships like you don't have to be friends with like literally everyone I think sometimes acquaintances like suffice and just people you say hi bye to or get lunch with here and there like I don't know I think that suffices and you know that's fine too but I definitely started to get more into my stride socially like in the second and third month and I mean even still there were points where I was like oh I like don't have a friend group which that was something I was really concerned about having like a friend group because I think it's really common for people in high school to like you have your friend group who you've probably been with like maybe since elementary school middle school like because at least for me i basically just went to school with like the same people for my whole life um and you kind of like just have your group and like high school i don't know in general to me is very clicky like that like people just have their groups and i think college is a lot different in that people are really willing to like step outside of their you know typical zone especially at a school with nyu that has like so so many different kinds of people um, that it's just very common to like mix and mingle and with like whoever you just vibe with and like that's great and I love that as long as you like have people in your life who you're happy with and who you care for and who they care for you and they support you uh, it's oh spill some tea <laughs> like actually um oops yeah I just want to say that really coming into NYU one of my biggest concerns was the social life aspect because I knew it wasn't like such a traditional school and I also knew I didn't really want to go to like a super traditional like rah rah like football games and like parties like type of school like that's just not really me um so I obviously I really don't regret coming here so um but I definitely you know it is a little bit more of a different social scene I would say but I think it's you know really the most what you, you what am I saying? The best, you make the best of it, or the you put, the best, okay, I don't know what I'm saying. I do feel like in the first few months, I was like really like, I was trying to be friends with like, anything with a pulse, honestly, which, sometimes you kind of have to be like that just to like get yourself out there, and as an introverted person, that was, I learned a lot. I definitely kind of just like forced myself to like be the person to like go up and introduce myself And I've learned that I can do that and that and I feel like for so much of my life I always had like the label of like being quiet on me and I feel like just having that label and having people always call me that was Like I just started to believe it and I just started to not talk. I feel like I'm really not like that anymore I've definitely learned to like Get out of my own head and get out of my shell but from where I started to where I ended, and you know, everyone has this in college, like you, you're not gonna leave college with zero friends or acquaintances, like you're gonna meet people. But I think it's like so like drastic and I have like met honestly some of the most incredible and inspiring and kind people who I've just like really connected with and like, I don't know, I'm just so thankful. Like really, really so thankful for my friends and acquaintances even. And acquaintances is like not a bad word. Like I feel like I honestly have a lot of acquaintances 
and it's like not a bad thing like not every acquaintance it doesn't mean that you don't like them it doesn't mean that you don't want to be friends with them it just like people kind of have a certain social capacity like you just physically can't be friends with everyone and it's nice to just have those people that you kind of like see around and say hi to and you give occasional updates to but like yeah i've kind of learned the value of acquaintances too so um there's that but yeah that's kind of my social life arc at nyu i went from being a very sad bean to have just having really amazing supportive people and friends in my life second i'll kind of talk about the academics so as a film major academics aren't really a thing <laughs> just kidding actually but like that's kind of the meme that like tish kids like can't like do addition <laughs> basically um but you know so as a film major academics um your teachers honestly let you know that like if you're trying to make it in the film world it you don't need to have straight a's to make it in the film world and you don't even need to go to film school to make it in the film world so uh, <laughs> but anyway um in terms of academics i mostly took classes that were required for my major which is film I basically had two gen ed classes every semester and it's honestly kind of weird because I feel like my gen ed classes that were not for my major is what I spent the most time on um, and I kind of felt like it's what I needed to spend the most time on which was my writing class and then first semester I took microeconomics, second semester I took calculus but yeah those were the classes that like had tests, had essays that were like really worth a grade like the professors were not as chill as Tish professors, so I'll say that. But um, yeah, I thought it was actually kind of interesting that I took these class that I took classes like calc and micro, and I honestly, it, it weirdly enough, I feel like I liked it because it kind of balanced out like a lot of the writing type of things I had to do for my film classes and for my writing gen. So I honestly, I kind of liked that, like using the other part of my brain to do that but in general academics um i don't know i didn't i don't have much to say about it like i didn't really hate any classes but in general i liked my classes i liked my professors um so yeah that's kind of academics if you guys are wondering also i'm really happy because i got all a's this semester so that's kind of cute I, I want to talk about spirituality slash religion really quickly because I feel like that was definitely a facet in my year at college. So I knew going into college, I actually, like I grew up as Christian, um, even my parents are Christian, like they just raised us like that always, but I noticed that I became a very reluctant Christian in that like I was like, it just kind of became a thing that I did and that I believed in just because my parents told me to. And in college, I really wanted my religion to be something that was for me and something that I actually wanted to do and I wanted to take control of. So yeah, I started going to church in like September because Darren invited me. He invited me to this really awesome church that we still go to. But out of going to church um, and Bible study, I did meet a lot of really amazing people and became friends with a lot of awesome people. Um, and this year, I really just learned to like, you know, praise God and go to God and talk to him, not just when I, you know, need help and when I'm in like the darkest times, but like when I'm thriving and when I'm feeling great. Yeah, that's kind of like my little bit about religion relating to my school year. For the last part, I kind of want to talk about just college life in general that is kind of that's not that's not necessarily like in the classroom so a little bit about dorm life dorm life i learned that i really love my alone time and i did not get a lot of alone time especially being in new york city you are around people 24 7 and then when you go back to a dorm and you have roommates you are still around people 24 7 even in your sleep and like I just learned that I really, really value time to myself. I basically always had a room to myself and I didn't realize how much I needed that until I was like living in a triple 
which like just like being around people for me is draining and I I feel like whenever I'm around people I there's to an extent there's just always a mask on me and acts depending on who I'm around not to say that I'm like fake but just I don't know I feel like how I just feel like you are different versions of yourself around different people and I truly feel like you're just your most true self when you're by yourself and that's just the most comfortable state that I'm in so I really I love being around people in the daytime but after a full day of like socializing and doing work or whatever just being around people I when I come back to my room I just really wanted to be a space where I can just be alone and by myself which I honestly didn't really have that so yeah that was just an aspect I didn't really love about college but I was kind of like well you know what you signed up for this and I was kind of just like I just have to push through it it like was really draining at some points I it was kind of just something that I was like I can't really do anything about this and I kind of just have to like get through it <laughs> and I'll be okay so yeah next year I only have one roommate so that will be a little bit better and also in the summertime I'll have a room to myself which is like such a privilege so amazing so happy about that um so yeah Another thing I kind of want to talk about that's out about college life in general is like kind of work slash time management slash like outside projects. Going to school in New York City and at NYU, there are really, first of all, really talented and really driven people here. And especially in a major where it's like honestly not very focused on academics, it's kind of focused on like what you are doing a lot outside of the classroom a lot of people are like crewing on like really exciting sets or they're like directing their own thing or being the director of photography of their own thing or they're like writing their show or having something produced it's like people are doing really amazing really really awesome things and i think it's you can't i think i maybe a little bit got into this habit of kind of like comparison and like oh this person is doing this that and the other and i'm doing watching youtube videos in my bed <laughs> so um i think for a little bit at the beginning i kind of let that comparison thing get to me especially being at a school where people are just doing really awesome things like i yeah like my fellow classmates are they're killing it they really are <laughs> um but I definitely think I got over that comparison thing and honestly the compar comparison is really the thief of all joy but also even with myself I I found that being around people who were so driven and doing great things it made me want to do that as well and yeah I've really just had a lot of like blessings and opportunities this year uh, outside of school which have been really really lovely but yeah this is basically my reflection on my first year of college. I truly like, I remember like going to college, like some people would tell me, or even just like watching like those YouTube videos about like college advice or whatever. Like people are like, you're gonna change so much. And honestly, I feel like I, I, I kind of have, I've changed a lot about, you know, my spirituality. I've changed a lot about how I think and just kind of the mindset I'm in. I feel like I'm in such a much more positive growth mindset than I've like ever been in my life. And you know, I feel like I've, I've changed in a lot of different ways and matured a lot um, and really for the better. So yeah, that was kind of just my reflection. I don't know if anyone actually watched this far, then thank you. That is lovely. but. Honestly, this will be kind of funny to like look back on in a few years from now. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And this summer, I honestly have like a pretty free summer. And I'm going to be in New York City this summer, which I'm so, so, so happy about. And I really want to just like create more content on here and really engage with you guys and have like a relationship with my viewers. Because I think that's really cool and an awesome thing that you can do with YouTube. So, wow, that was a lot, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and got a little look into my college life. Leave any questions you have below, 
any video requests because I'm going, I really want to be making videos like crazy this summer. Like I just really want it to be like a summer where I'm just like creating a lot. Cause like those summers that I have where I'm like super creative are just always the most fun for me. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you next time. Bye.